Hello crafters, welcome to G's Creations. I have my tub of autumnal goodies and I have painted one of the medium sized polystyrene cones and I want to make a autumnal um, topiary tree for my display. So I've got my, my tub and um, I've got these toothpicks because I may not keep this topiary the way it is. I may decide that I no longer want it after the season or I may not you know, use it next year. So instead of gluing these items in so I can no longer use them again, I thought what I'd do is I'd put this, um, oh look at that, I thought I would put this um, in and then I can just, you know, short, shorten it because I think these are a bit too long. So I can shorten them, maybe cut them in half so I get two. Shorten them and then I can um, push these into, oh gosh, keep making it go all the way through. And then push these into the um, styrofoam. The styrofoam is so thick, it's quite tricky getting it in to be honest. So that's what I was thinking of doing. So I'm just going to create and I'm going to um, place the music over the top so it's kind of a process video so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my items don't go past this um, don't go past the uh, the base here because obviously we don't want it to um, to go through, or not to go through. We don't want it to be hanging off. So I'm just going to play around with positioning things, and um, if there's anything that I need to kind of bring forward to you and let you know, I will come back. pack of uh, mini pine cones and I will be gluing these on I, just, I got a huge bag so I'll have a few to uh, to last me and I really want this, um, this topiary this cone tree to be really really jam-packed And I'll probably fill in um, with moss and that kind of thing. Now these leaves I'm using, some of them are available in the store and some are just ones from my stash. Uh, these orange ones for example they're from my store but as i've got a lot of leaves and things from in my stash i didn't see the point in taking out um stock but you can achieve this very easily piling on the leaves. I think that's what I'm going to concentrate on first to give it a base. And then after that I'm going to put on all the uh, all the other foliage. I'm going to cut the top off slightly so it's more flat. So I'm just 
going to cut it off ever so slightly. Please use um, a pair of a knife when doing it and please take care because I want to have something flat like one of these pine cones on the top and I can touch in the uh, the uh, the paint once I'm finished. Going to add a few of these mushrooms, and these are stocked in my store. I'm just going to cut off the uh, the green wire, and I'm going to put glue on the base, depending on where I want them. So I want this one to stick out from there. Obviously, I'm going to have to go over this with my heat tool. You see, I want it really, really packed. I think I'm going to start just gluing these in because I don't, I can't see a reason why I can't, I can't just buy some more of these because I, I don't think I'm going to be throwing this away because I actually quite like the way it's looking already. I'm really going to pack it out. I shall put uh, some moss in between in the bits that are showing that I don't want showing. some of these orange and white daisy flowers which are also stocked in the store so I'm gonna have see how some of these are, will look poked in like there for example because you don't seem to want to stay there so if I put some glue further down and see if you'll stay there and then see how that looks nope don't like that the orange, yeah the orange looks better because it's more in keeping with the uh, autumnal colours. I need to cut down the uh, plastic bit on the back because it's too long. Dab of hot glue. Remember to always use your spatula or whatever tool you use when dealing with um, hot glue and moss because it's just going to go straight through and onto your hands and it's going to hurt so please remember to use your your hot glue tool whether that be a spatula or some other device. Okay crafters, here is the finished topiary. So I used all of the the mini pine, uh, pumpkins, I used all of the mini mushrooms, and I used all of the um, acorns. But it's all the way around, and I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I, I think it looks really good. Really good. And in places I've got some of the leaves that were underneath just poking through. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. If you recreate it, please share in my Facebook group. G's creation is now my creation. I'd love to see your, your interpretation and your recreation of this item. And I will see you again very soon with another craft. Take care now.